how often do you still think about the Super Bowl? You know, um, it comes up almost every day in some capacity. Um, hey, that's tough, man. Well, it's not. That's, it's not. No, I know, but I'm saying like that. Like, but, but here, and here's why: because it was it's tougher in the AFC Championship game to to get there. That's the toughest game to play in. To that's a that's a grind out war, and it's survival of the fittest in that game. So to get to the Super Bowl was like, ah, okay, we're here. And it's that's the reward to play for the ultimate prize. And to have battled the way we did, I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It, it let me know, like, at that moment when Kevin Dyson stretched out his arm, um, didn't cross the goal line, and... The confetti's flying everywhere. It was like, damn, we just experienced this. We didn't win. It hurts like hell. But it sparked something in us that we knew we had something special for a certain window of time. So I remember after that game, uh, we flew back to Nashville and we were supposed to go to, I was supposed to go to the Pro Bowl. And I told Jeff, I said, look, man, I'm thinking about not even going to the Pro Bowl. You know, I want to get started on next year right now. I think he's, I think he's mentioned that on the yeah. pod. Yeah. Right, <laughs> right now. Like, not tomorrow, but right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get stretched out. I'm going to recover, do all But I'm hitting the hills. I'm going to go on a sabbatical. I'm going to go and train in the mountains. I'm going to go... The Rocky style, you know, Clubber Lang <laughs> yeah, yeah. style. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, where, yeah. <laughs> where rats are rolling around right. and it is, it, the pipes are got a rust on the beard out. growing out, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that that type shit. That's that's what I was on. Um and uh I was that hungry for it to have the, that to be that close to winning it and have that taste in your mouth, man, is is intoxicating. It's addictive. And I wanted that. And I felt like that stage I felt comfortable being on. I enjoyed that's That's where I belonged on a, on a stage like that consistently. My goal was to get back there consistently. And, um, of course, you know the, the story behind that. We never right. did. But, right. um, so to, knowing that you don't ever go back and think like there's a like, is there anything else that could have been executed differently on that final play? Oh, yeah. I think that... Um, is there any, a different play you wish would have been called? Is there a different moment in that game that... I mean, you know all those things. You no, the right, as a player. the right call was made. I mean, yeah. we're at the two-yard line. Here we go. Uh, hey, by the way, hell of a fucking tackle by Mike Jones, dude. Yeah, he he played he played it well. Kevin Dyson could have took a step further. And at that moment, that's that was it. That was that was the play, and they rushed the field, and that and that's and that's all she wrote. But hindsight, twenty twenty, man, we battled like warriors, man. Yeah. And I remember being in the huddle before this play, and I said to myself, regardless of what happens, I'm gonna hold my head up high because this is a team, the greatest show on turf, was supposed to blow us out yeah. by yes. seventeen points or or whatever, mm-hmm. and we wouldn't, we beat them earlier in that, that year too. So had we gone into overtime, that defense was so tired, it was it was our game to win. So, you know, when I look back, yeah, um, we lost, but people remember that game and have long lasting relationships and friendships from it. Um, I've extracted so much, so many lessons in life about that that I can teach to my sons using my speeches. So it, it served its purpose. It really did. Yeah, I like that. 